What is up, YouTube? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I want to stop by, you know, drop in my opinion on um, red pill advice and red pill content in general. Like, this is the stuff that I grew up watching back in 2018 due to the fact that, you know, I enjoyed watching The Matrix and with the, um, you know, that one scene where it's take the blue pill and then take the red pill one is where uh, man it's been a while but one is where you're kind of you accept the lies and the other one is you yeah you well, hold on hold on let me take that back i think the blue pill is where you live in a delusion and you accept it no, no, that's the red pill. The red pill is you live in a delusion and you accept it. And the blue pill is, um, look, okay, no, never mind. It's not even a big deal. I don't even care. But so basically what I've noticed from, from 2018 to 2023, all red pill content kind of revolves around the dating scene and, uh, women. And I'm, and without a doubt, it's just nothing but them bashing women. Like, don't get me wrong, there are really some horrible women out there who all they want to do is just spread chaos and create as many victims out of men as much as possible because uh, who, whatever type of trauma they've been through or, or whatever they've been hearing on the internet because same goes for men, they're getting feed the same shit on the, on the same plate. What they expect, we expect the same things. So that's why I'm kind of like, okay... This is not really like um, realistic in reality in real life when it comes to talking to other humans. So I kind of and it kind of like made me kind of feel like, you know, arrogant and kind of narcissistic. Well, not not narcissistic. Let me take that back because everybody's narcissistic. But it kind of made me feel arrogant to where I didn't want to talk to nobody or even want to like, you know, get to know new people. And that's kind of that's not really me. I'm not really that type of person. Unless I kind of I smell something a little off about you, that's when I, you know, I go off to the, I just take my take myself somewhere else. But yeah, red pill content in general has really drastically changed to the point where it's kind of unbearable to even listen and watch because you see a lot of these, um, you see a lot of these content creators once they blow up, then you got these other small content creators basically copying them and doing everything they do and don't get me wrong like some of the stuff is kind of beneficial towards uh for men and maybe for women too if they're watching those type of content but i'm i'm speaking for like men mostly and it seems to be like they're targeting men who are kind of who are basically like anti-social um they hate the world they they kind of just they they, they don't really know who they are and they don't really got no friends to talk to. So they kind of just, they, they, they feed into this, um, to this resentment and these people's traumas. And then they kind of just like, you know what? I'm, I'm in it for the fight too. I'm, I'm, I'm with all men, you know, this and that bullshit. And I'm kind of here like, that's not, that's not even a fight. That's, that's not even no type of revolution. That's not even close to anything. All it's really doing, when you boil it down, is just separating the male and the female and people are going to be like oh yeah you know the the higher ups uh they're the ones doing this it's not us no it's it's you you you're you're literally the you make choices out of what you see and what you think and if you consume all that red pill content especially about the one especially the dating stuff then you're gonna turn into this arrogant person who doesn't want to talk to nobody because you think you're uh you're a big shot because you know all this information this and that about women about red pill stuff about the whole real world this and that how it works and it's just that's not really healthy and i'm, I'm willing to bet those people who do that they, they they probably don't know how to socialize whatsoever they 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 don't even know how to talk to people and they have no friends they probably just be on the internet all day watching a hundred of these videos doing nothing productive for their, for their life every single day miserable and just walking around 
with a, a chip on her shoulder for no apparent reason and trying to figure out, oh yeah, why can I get no friends? Oh, why, why can I not talk to people? Oh, this and that. And it's like, bro, you ever heard the saying, you are what you attract? And me personally, I'm I'm a hundred I'm a hundred percent with that because I I honestly believe with all the encounters I've had with women, if I wasn't so arrogant, if I wasn't so naive, you know, getting drawn to this red pill content and you know having an open mind instead of let it consume me, I think I probably would have had um way more than I actually could even imagine because. Like, there's nothing wrong with being, you know, having self-respect and, you know, realize, and realizing what are the red flags when you when it comes across to women. But if you kind of get to the point where you can't even have, you know, you can't even be normal around people, you can't even be normal around women or have, you know, just a casual conversation, then and I think that's really, um, I, that sounds like a big issue that you need to, you know, work on. And don't get me wrong, I'm I'm with you on that. Like it takes time. I I, I didn't realize this until one day. Um, let, let's just say that I I was um I was at a job site and it it didn't end well for me. It did not end well for me. And I I took the full accountability and was like thinking, you know what, something's gonna change because because once you start growing as a person and you start figuring out who you really are this stuff is really like toxic and it really can, it really can get to your head especially for people who don't really go out a lot who don't really socialize a lot it just kind of messes with you because this is all you're consuming so yeah i don't i don't i every time i see that stuff i kind of cringe and take it like a grain of salt and most of these dating coaches or life coaches whoever whatever label they identify as you know they're sneaking into the red pill content um red, red, red pill content niche they're 100 percent like just trying to sell you fear lies resentment you know all this bullshit even though they're doing the quite opposite and they're not telling you that because they want to come off as this alpha strong male who who don't give a fuck who's very standoffish who says fuck people uh i, I don't need nobody and I'm going to just use women because, well, women ain't shit, this and that. When in reality, women are as uh, equal as men. Not saying as in like, um, like as in roles. Don't, don't, don't let that get confused. A male has his pros. A male has his cons. A, a woman, a woman has her pros and a woman has her cons. But by equal, um, as humans, yes, we, we're equal as humans. I, I, I can 100 agree, 100 percent agree with that, but that don't mean <clears throat> I'm gonna treat you any different from from this guy right here or that woman right there. No, no. Every person is treated how they want, how they treat themselves, without a doubt. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll see you guys later.